Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel at Lisa J's World. Today I come to you with an unboxing from Poshmark. It is a wish list item and I'm hoping it's all that I'm hoping that it would be and that it's going to be and I definitely need to open this box now because I only have three days to make a decision if I'm going to keep this item or not and it will be based on the condition of it um, the authenticity of it because it is a luxury item um, I took a chance based on photos because the photos and um, doing my little research on determining whether something is real or fake um, it passed all the tests so I'm hoping and praying that everything works out well so let's get into this unboxing so it took her quite a, uh, a little bit to, to mail it um, so I got a little worried because um, with Poshmark if I guess it's a week they give you to um, ship something or seven days I think it's ten or seven days um, and or they'll refund you automatically the purchase will be cancelled okay so this is what's in the box and you are seeing this just like me for the very first time this is how she boxed it okay very interesting all right it is supposed to be the speedy bandolier okay the speedy 30 bandolier and i'm not sure um, based on what I read in my research okay this hardware I'm not sure um, it looks a little shiny it doesn't look like um, brass It has the 30. This is the trim. I don't know, guys. They did say that the um, canvas is thinner than the replicas. Um, do I see some tarnish here? Okay, it looks like it's a real tarnish, like with real brass. I'm not sure. The light is kind of too bright to tell. I don't think you still can see that. I don't know guys do you think it's it's real see it looks like there's some tarnish there like normal tarnish on a on real brass okay the 30 is only on one side the stitching is very even the brass Rivet here has Louis Vuitton on it. The piping. There's only a slight wear on the piping. On this side. Okay. 
a little weird here on this side. Looks, it's hard to determine. Now, I know they say this should be four. Let me get my stylus. Four stitches across here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I, this is puffed out. I'm surprised she she did say there was not a box or a dust bag. I'm surprised that you wouldn't have that if you had such an expensive item. Looking at the strap, it doesn't feel cheap, but you know, some replicas can be. And I hate that I did not, that because it was less than $500, I couldn't get it authenticated. Postmark only $500. 500 and above okay so on the inside I should have looked in here earlier okay just regular wear on the inside it's not filthy just needs a little cleaning Okay, this is the pocket, and the pocket has, the pocket zipper has a piece of plastic covering it. I don't know if that comes like that. Like she never took the, the um, plastic off. And this is the inside. The inside of the pocket. Now that I didn't know anything about. And this key is pretty. It says 448 on ya. But it's pretty brassy. I mean uh, shiny. Doesn't look like a real brass piece of, of a lock. Oh no, guys. I hope this is not what I think. Okay, so it has a stamp in here. I don't, it doesn't feel raised. I can feel it. It is pretty clear, but it's in red. And this, oh, this hardware looks like real brass. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm, concerned is this real or is it a replica <sighs> I don't know the only way I'll know is if I get it authenticated it has the ring here Should I have, should I be doing this? Like, should it be already, you know, by itself? Now, they say that the replicas are 
darker in chocolate and the real ones are you know are lighter the LV the Louis Vuitton is Okay. Okay, this side, the Louis Vuitton is up. And on this side, the Louis Vuitton is upside down, like it should be. Oh, I just don't know. Now, when I put the day code inside of it, when I put that online, it says that this was made in France. Um, made in France in 2020. But then they also say it's not a guarantee <laughs> that it's authentic because just because the um, the date code shows a date, so this is supposedly made in France. You know, I really wish I had. A uh, listened to my mom and went to the store to see or felt on a real one. I don't think it should be gapping right here, but maybe it's not. It just had, it wasn't stuff. She didn't put it, it doesn't have a dust bag. She said it was a gift. And um, I don't know, guys. The strap looks pretty. Uh, really nice it really looks nice i don't i can't tell if it's real leather or not okay this stitching looks off I don't know if they're going to, I didn't think that they would give me a problem. Okay, so are they holding this together with, now that's questionable, I don't know. What is this line right here? Hardware is shiny. It says Louis Vuitton with the trademark. That's what I wanted to see. I don't see that on this. Oh, wait a minute. That is. Louis Vuitton Paris made in France and it has the trademark symbol on top can't really it's not coming through clear it should be showing clear it should be crisp I wonder if I can get this authenticated in a short period of time. I 
All right, guys. <laughs> I will have to do some further investigation. Just by this here does not look like it's new because unless she just never used it. So I don't know if the locks come like this. Um, the number is 448, I think. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the number, 488. The keys have it here. 448. But some, some places on the bag, the, the hardware looks real and these the corners are rounded on the straps all right guys I don't know if anyone's familiar with um, the speedy bandolier the 30 um, based on this video I probably have to get a professional opinion but if you recognize anything that's not, that looks fishy about this bag, um, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, the handles feel in, like they're in great condition and they, they don't feel like cheap handles. The stitching... Okay, I thought that was loose, but that's that stitching is not even loose on there. It's very clean. All right, guys, I'm a, I keep going back to this. I'm just hoping that this is real. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys bye